I'll be the first to admit it's difficult trying to find a bike for a kid, let alone a full suspension mountain bike, that they're not going to outgrow right away. This is the Polygon D24 from Bikes Online. It's going for $699 right now. We're just going to go over a few specs. The differences between the D24 and the D24X by Polygon and why I think it's going to be a good choice for your pocketbook, your kids riding, and their future. With a frame design that mimics other series of Polygon, the D24 is a ready for everything on the trails kind of bike. It comes equipped with modern trail geo and the one piece unibody bridge from my experience with other Polygons feels really good. The D24 is designed for riders 4 foot 2 to 4 foot 9. The reach of the frame is 355 millimeters, which is a similar length to other bikes on the market. The D24's drivetrain comes equipped with the MicroShift Acolyte 1x drivetrain, giving those kids smooth shifting as well as a wide range of gears. The Tektro provides a stopping power with their cable brakes and 160 millimeter rotors. Standard through axles give you the ability to change the wheel sizes easily, allowing you to go from 24 inches to 26 inch wheels. The wheels are provided from Entity and you're set up with grippy V-tire flow snaps. The suspension is provided by SR's Suntour. The stiff 32mm stanchions, 15mm through axles with a radon fork gives your child abilities to switch lines easily as well as giving you options for rebound and compression. Travel comes in at 120 in the front and 120 in the back as well. The remaining part of the bike is the cockpit and that's also provided by Entity. What's the difference between the D24 and the D24X you ask? Well, the only difference in the frame is the color, the rest is components. So with that, you'll pay a bit more. The D24X comes with the X-Fusion suspension, Tektro hydraulic brakes, Shimano Dior 1x10 drivetrain, and you'll also have an added dropper post by Transax. My kiddo has had her D24 for an entire race season now, and while I didn't always recommend that she ride the D24, rather a hardtail since some of the trails favored hardtails, there were a few trails that were off camber, rocky, or flowy to where the bike would help her maintain traction when she changed her line. In my opinion, I think the D24 is a well-capable full suspension mountain bike for kids. It's also the best value kids full suspension bike bikes online has to offer. I'm definitely excited to watch my daughter grow on the bike too. My girlfriend and I were excited to save money back then and upgrade her D24 as time goes on because that's our preferred way of going about buying bikes. Buy at a good value and upgrade later. So if this sounds something you might like i'll leave a link in the description below for the bike and if you're interested in looking at other great deals on bikes online i'll leave a link below in the description for that too and as always thanks for watching